Hello. Happy New Year. Same to you. <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, just came back yesterday from vacation, so still trying to catch up. What's what's going on? Yeah, same here. I just came back yesterday from vacation, so catching up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's wait for an hour. Yeah. We've got some topics to discuss. Mm -hmm. We didn't end up submitting a talk for EU, right? No, uh, I haven't submitted anything because uh, in practice, I, uh, I I was a speaker for already two submissions. Mm. So one was related to some topology where scheduling part um, together with um, Swati and one Huawei guys. Uh, and another one is well, our, our, our related Intel project. So I decided not to try to submit the third one. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Oh, hi, Alexei. Uh, hello. We decided to wait for Renault because he had some topic in mind. So it doesn't make sense to start without him. Looks like he's offline, at least in Scott. Oh, sorry, in Slack.
Hey there, sorry I would come a few minutes late. I don't know. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everyone. Uh, is everyone online? Uh, Mike, Alex, Yurgashi, Alexei. I hope maybe Myrna will be joining us a little, a little bit uh, later. All right, let me pull out the agenda very quickly. And start the meeting from there. Um, so yes, um, happy 2021 to everyone. Uh, today is uh, the 12th of January, uh, the first meeting of the year. Um, on the agenda, we have the main point, which is um, a recap of what happened in 2020, and maybe some idea of where we're going into 2021, right? Discuss uh, where we're going in 2020. Are there any items that people want to add to this agenda? Nope. Okay. Uh, let's start. Um, so in 2020, uh, I think we kind of started the first uh, drafts of CDI uh, and I presented the COD working group at KubeCon, which were actually probably the two big points. Um, we also kind of started discussing, I think, uh, the different um, uh, projects, whether it's through um, the NRI or through the resource management uh, work group that kind of got started. And um, more or less related, um, the uh, Pod Resources API, um, which is um, the API that allows um, that allows uh, monitoring, not monitoring device, but when a vendor is monitoring a device that allows um, to map the device to a pod name, a namespace, and a container um, in the metric, when you are creating the metrics, is finally GA. So these are kind of uh, the main sticking points that came out of 2020, uh, or the main wins uh, for, for this group uh, that came out of 2020. Um, are there maybe items that people feel uh, should be added to that list of uh, awesome thing the group kind of made happen in 2020? Um, I think it's a good list for now. Because we, like obviously there are some activities uh, which is not public yet. So it doesn't make sense to list them at the moment. Yeah. Um, as a quick follow-up, this is something that I mentioned on uh, Slack, um, but um, I've started engaging with the NVIDIA Creative Department, and um, there's we are at the draft um, stage. Um, so, to, sorry, I've started engaging with the NVIDIA Creative Department to uh, create a logo for CDI. Um, they are at um, the draft stage, kind of exploring some ideas. Um, and I think we're hoping to kind of get back with this group with maybe three options um, to kind of pick from. Does that make sense to everyone? Yeah, definitely. Uh, one question, uh, did you try to contact the CNC of uh, artists? Because um, I think CNC have also had somebody who also draw in the logos. Yeah, um, I think like I went through the NVIDIA creative department because it, it was the simplest one. Um, yeah, makes yeah. Sense. Um, I could probably do that. I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at if I have some time to uh, just uh, think through this. <laughs> um, yeah, I think um, these are all the agenda items for before. I think looking at 2021, um, one of the kind of uh, deadlines that I was hoping for us to achieve is to have maybe an alpha implementation in one of the major runtimes uh, by the end of 2020. Um, and I think unfortunately, uh, um, that that's something that that's a that's a more or less a milestone that we kind of missed here. Um, and so. 
I think going forward, it'd be it'd be interesting for, or at least we probably need to figure out how we're gonna move on this. Um, the main kind of, I think, um, the main point that is kind of, I think, blocking us is figuring out whether we want to do NRI just for container D or if we want to try to integrate NRI with Podman. We kind of had discussed that in the previous meeting where we thought that it might make sense to try to do a first implementation in Podman without NRI. Um, I want to kind of get a bit of, um, so I think, yeah, so basically the main question being here, um, do we want to put some kind of like six months or three months deadline to have a first implementation on this? And um, where, where, what direction do we want to go with uh, NRI? Um, on, on this. I'll let others to speak first when I share my opinion about that. I, I think your plan of, you know, getting it up on Podman makes sense because it'll, it'll stretch out the, you know, the service and get it, get it used from that client perspective that you're focused on, right? And then whatever, whatever demos you put together, we can probably set that up on, on container D and start working it into Kubernetes. We will need to do a presentation, you know, at Signode to, to get some, some interest there. Right. Yep. Alex, what's your opinion or your mastery? What's your opinion? Yeah, well, we, yeah, I mean, basically we just need to add the pre-create, right. And then once that, that's just an injection point. And, and yep. really what you're gonna be doing on Podman, I suspect is adding the client options to set cryo to be able to, the, I'm sorry, the cryo library to yep. be able right, to, to, to use those pre-injection points at the same place. You'll, of course, you'll need to push the, you know, the, all, all the different injection points into, into the cryo code. It's, it's pretty similar code. It's not that far out from what's in container D. Yeah, that makes sense, I think. Uh, yeah, I agree with that approach as well. Start with Podman and then we can expand it to Utility and Cryo. Yep, and it's, we just need to keep the links, uh, you know, together between the two projects, Cryo and Container D, so that we can make sure we're putting the injection points at the same place in roughly the same manner that you're wanting to, you know, to see, making sure we put, put the same content in for example, if you need uh, particular annotations to be injected, you know we'll we'll need to be doing that in, in concert, right? Yep. Agreed. Uh, so, so my line of thinking was quite similar to uh, to what uh, Mike mentioned. So practically, like have all the CDI code as a separate library, like the code which can be embedded in any of a project or vendor it. Uh, uh, have one. Uh, entry point where we say this is where contain descri container description uh, what we are trying to create and the result should be returned as a modified uh, content of, of that container. Uh, indeed, uh, container creation process is similarly done in, in Podman and Cryo in container D. So uh, we should be having to all of those three projects quite minimal uh, changes to, to just intercept that call. Uh, and my opinion regarding NRI is what, um, uh, I, I, th I think right now it's a bit uh, flaky state. We don't, we don't know where Michael's uh, plans on when, where, what kind of functionality he will be doing. So, um, I would say if we want to achieve something soon enough, let's let's do it by just directly injecting this CDI uh, into a cryo container D and uh, pod one, as just as a proof of concept as a demos. And um, uh, if during that time NRI will be evolving to a level what we can use it, when again, I think it will be quite trivial to, to change. Okay.
All right. So that was kind of NRI and CDI. Um, are there items that we want to focus on as a group outside of CDI this year? Well, from my perspective, uh, I really hope what we will finalize with uh, paperwork to open source our um, uh, like proof of concept work of CDI plus uh, how it integrates with Kubernetes. Uh, so in short, uh, what, what I'm thinking is uh, we need we need to have a discussion with kubernetes folks on how we can expose uh, entities from the runtimes towards like like to upper layer saying like this is the object what uh, can be attached to a container how and uh, like all the specialities it should be hidden from the kubernetes but when um when the Kubernetes like upper layers, well, like the scheduling, the pod spec need to have uh, ability to reference those objects somehow. Uh, we have a proof of concept how it can be done. Uh, well, a bit hackish approach, <laughs> but uh, the idea is uh, what during this year, I want to bring this proof of concept to a like, wide audience, show how it works and uh, talk with scheduling, with API machinery, with Node, uh, how to generalize it. So where, uh, where, where containers or pods can reference, let's say CRDs, for example, and with CRDs on the runtime levels can can be mapped to actual hardware resource what is the abstracted on the runtime level. I don't know. Does it make sense? Uh, more or less. I think if you want to kind of maybe do like a slide um, draft or dry run at the container or at this meeting and then. Um... Absolutely, yes. So uh, as soon as we, as we will be able to publish our uh, proof of concept code, I will show how it works and with diagrams, like what, like which component is responsible for what. Uh, and like which data is passed between the components. Yep. All right. Yeah, as soon as you guys get some kind of a demo level, you know, proof of concept running at the client level, I think in Podman or whatnot, then, then we can pick some stakeholders from the Kubernetes side, get them on our side, and then, you know, to put together a demo, maybe Dems, maybe, um, you know, at plus Murnau. I mean, he's already here, so he's a good stakeholder in Signo. And with the together with those two guys, we should be able to, you know, present something to to, to the Signo team. Um, we're gonna yeah, need uh, we're gonna need somebody else on the resource side, right? Uh, I think we will definitely need somebody from the scheduling uh, uh, folks. And I got we. I, I can bring we in on the scheduling if you'd like. And if everything goes well, as I am envisioning, we probably also need later on to bring uh, someone from the storage. Because practically the storage paradigm is very close to what uh, yeah, I'm trying yeah. to achieve. So yeah, that, that, I, think, I think at that, I agree. I'm just saying we, we should bring together a few stakeholders from a few areas and bring them here first. You know, have a you know casual conversations, get them on our side, and then when we go to Signode, right? They'll they'll be able to chime in and say, "Yeah, I like this." <laughs> um, maybe maybe bringing Derek in at, at some point as well. They don't don't want this to be a surprise, right? <laughs> to to a few, a few of the stakeholders. Okay. Is there any topic that people would like to kind of add to, or not topics, but objectives that this group thinks we kind of should be looking at 
this year. Well, wait, on, on the scope of the pod man proof of concept, what, what kinds of scenarios do you think you're going to, you're going to shoot for? What do you mean by scenarios? I uh, just like use you know, case. What, yeah. Use, what's your use case? Yeah. Um, I think the main one that I have really is kind of uh, NVIDIA GPUs. Um, right. Because that's the device I have on my machine. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got you. I got you. But like, uh, generally, I think like, because this group has also different devices, I'd be oh, I'll also have access to a Malinux snake. Um, so that's not completely true. That's it's the only device I have on, on my machine. But um, I think like I'm very happy to kind of test different devices and show them um, if if people want kind of have um, want to record demos around that 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 it would also be kind of like really awesome. Um, yeah, I support if we're gonna we're a G, one GPU, one storage, one CPU device. Yeah. What's well, well, I think we don't have a good use case or a good uh, storage use case. Yeah. Um, so well, storage storage is completely separate area. So you you don't uh, you don't expose it as a raw device. Yeah, that's that's also my thought process. Is uh, we, there's the CSI plugins uh, for storage. Um, but yeah, like if if we can do an FPGA or. Uh, um, uh, in, in our demo, what we have is we have a working FPGA demo, uh, and uh, well, I hope Ukri will do also a GPU demo. So, like this GPU, I think we have a prototype where we can limit uh, uh, like the memory usage for the workloads, which is completely un impossible in current design of device plugins. Okay. So if we don't have anybody from storage here to also integrate CSI with NRI, then we're going to need to do a separate group of meetings or is that well, just... Mike, we don't really need to uh, uh, integrate with CSI to NRI. Okay. What, well, what we actually need is we need to learn from CSI and just make a generic interface, which we'll be describing like, as I said, like with CRDs, uh, which will lead to uh, become a superset of device uh, plugins and CSI plugins. Okay, so just follow the, the, the current standard resource management with Kubernetes. Um, no, not, not, yeah, well, if you're talking about CRDs, yes, following the standard resource management. But also, like, uh, well, the big thing is what storage prototypes or so all the storage objects right now way uh, part of a base API is just because of historical reasons. So all of those in, in theory can be done as a CRDs, but we cannot easily separate from right now because like the evolution of Kubernetes. Okay, I hear you. And like where I, I, I talked with Saad Ali a couple of years back uh, in one of the KubeCons and he was mentioning what uh, uh, like there are historical things in, in the scheduling area, in the controllers area, like where, where storage objects are treated specially. So, it will hey be guys. Fun. Hello. Yeah, hello. Uh, um, I have a question here, and I'm sorry if uh, this is something that you guys already cover. Um, I'm trying to understand why you guys are leading towards starting with Botnet. I would expect that changes uh, would have been done more at the runtime level. I would expect changes to be done at container D or cryo level. Um, so I'm just trying to get what's the rationale to start in higher level component like Botnet. Well, we, we've already got some functionality in inside the you know the container runtimes to support this. We just have to add the injection points. And when when you want to do a demo, you need a client. And Container D and Cryo in and of themselves don't have a client, so you're you're stuck with well, how do I demonstrate this? Right? Do I do I run it using CryCTL or Podman or you know or whatever what other you know client would you like to do? There's a couple of Container D uh, client proposals out there. Um, I think Containerd or something. I don't know, whatever. There's, there's a few. 
um, that we could that we could do the same kind of demo in. Okay, so um, that means that the client portion of uh, um, of this feature, to call it that way, uh, would be on the Podman, but you're still saying that in all the handling would be done at the container at the runtime level. Um, I mean, is is this only right. like a, yeah, yeah, yeah? You need a you need a way to pass in the you know the options. The got request. it. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. So the main target of, of why at all we are doing with CDI is to improve uh, user experience. And right now, well, Kubernetes is one set of users and common line uh, users like Podman or Docker common line uh, uh, is an is additional set of users. And uh, to demonstrate something, we need either Docker or Podman just to show like how it was and how it is now. Uh, Kubernetes, uh, as Mike mentioned, it will require a lot of more changes and it's not that easy to demonstrate. And uh, from my feeling, what changing the Podman for, for the demo might be a lot easier when changing the Docker CLI to, uh, to make a demo. Oh, I see. I got it. Thank you. All right. Um, are there things, sorry, the goals that people would like this group to achieve in 2021? Next call. Uh, so uh, it's not implicit, uh, explicitly mentioned, but I think uh, it would be good to, uh, to say it. So I think we all think what NRI idea is a good one. Uh, but um, uh, how to say that? We are interested to make sure what NRI interface will be, uh, first of all, uh, powerful enough to do a lot of tasks, not only for devices, but about other resources, what can potentially can be on the nodes. Second thing, it should be performant. So like, yes, exec mechanism is fine for now, but uh, I hope when we will do some stress testing in the end of a year or close to the end of a year, we might think about, I don't know, like TTRPC, GRPC or some, some other interfaces. Uh, I have, uh, I, I think uh, Container D have good experience with, uh, with those scenarios already. So, uh, to summarize, I think one of the goals what I see for this year is to make sure what NRI will be powerful interfaces to runtime. And some of the items what we want to do is uh, written in the issue number two for NRI project. Can you repeat the last oh, sentence? So, so, uh, sorry, which one? Oh, the last sentence that you just said. The last sentence is what uh, we are interested to make sure what uh, NRI will be powerful and performant interface and uh, some of the uh, items what we want to um, achieve is written in uh, issue in NRI. I will add it to the meeting notes. When you say performance interface, do you have an idea of where you want to be at? So uh, I want to investigate uh, possibilities of either gRPC or TTRPC uh, for interacting between the runtimes and uh, NRI plugins. Right, so I think maybe my question is like, do you have a time budget that you want to be staying inside? Uh, I think we will have a time budget because uh, think about it. So we most, like, if you're talking about the CDI, we are talking about container creation time. Mm -hmm. And uh, if, if we have something which will be delaying the container st uh, start, for example, like for the second, uh, it's already too much or perceive it too much uh, for many of the people or uh, for very dynamic services. Right. So, so where, 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 like, do you have a rough stake that you want to put into the ground? Is it like 500 I don't, milliseconds? I, 
I don't want to put any milliseconds, but we need to actually measure how much we are affecting the container starting time. Okay. I'm gonna write down less than one second. Um, and then and then we can refine that goal later. Does that make sense? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Like, uh, like imagine like you have a completely empty system. Like, yes, it will start be, uh, below one second, but imagine you have a, already node where like hundreds of containers are running. Or you have a like restart of uh, like few dozens of containers at the same time. So it will be not with linear function of the time. I mean, as far as I see CDI, it's not really a function of the number of containers or the number of requests that are incoming, but more a function of um, the number of files. And um, yeah, it's, it's a function of parsing the, the, the specs, basically. I'm not worried about the parsing of the specs. I'm more worried about uh, the time of forking. So if you have like, uh, let's say Kubernetes, uh, like Kubernetes says, create me hundred of container uh, mm -hmm. at the same time. It means it will be hundred times fork it with NRI plugin. And let us- um, So I think, yeah, with NRI, we were thinking about having the CDI code directly inside NRI rather than as an NRI plugin. You can probably like you should you, like if you look at the issue that uh, I think issue two the one that's open we kind of discussed that. Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, might be not for CDI, but maybe for any other of NRI plugins. So yeah. we we are interested to make it sure make it sure what its performance interface. Okay, I mean. I, I think it's important to kind of define time budgets and maybe the things that you mentioned, which is like a scaling. Um, these like these make more sense as a way to engage rather than to start the conversation by saying I would like to explore gRPC or other mechanisms. They're 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 kind of easier to um, communicate why you're exploring. Them. Yeah. That, that's why I'm kind of focusing on time budget. As in like, what is it that we want to do first rather than how we want to do it? All right, um, and I think that's it, right? Any other, is, is, there, is there something that people want to say about this group? Uh, are people happy overall? <laughs> That, that's that's not a yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. I'm just busy as hell. <laughs> yeah, I think that's, that's the main that's the main blocker of this group is that everyone's working on a hundred other things. Yep, yep. Well, yeah. And, and I, Phil Phil just moved to uh, to Amazon. He's still on Container D, but oh man, I'm picking up for you know, Phil's back stuff all all over IBM stack. <laughs> He's a busy guy. It's gonna it's gonna be fun for me for the next couple of months. Well, I hope you get some help. Uh, yeah, me, yeah me too. I think I think I will. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah. Um, Yurveshi, do you have any maybe um, things that you want to kind of add, comments, feedback? Um, no, nothing really. I'm just looking forward to getting the proof of concept working with Podman and eventually in Crying Container. I feel like. I feel like I would understand it much better once we have code and all going on as well as the discussions that we've been doing. That's all. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Well, awesome. Mr. Uh, Mr. Cal, do you have any kind of feedback you want to bring to this group? You're muted. Alex? Yeah. Are you are you saying something? Uh, you are asking me or Alexei? Uh, you, Alexander. Do you have any feedback for, for this group? Uh, nothing specific, I think. Okay. 
uh, I feel super lucky to be working with such awesome people. <laughs> yeah, well, I think we all came back from vacations and uh, feeling energetic and bunch of tasks on our hands. So yeah, ready to take uh, on the world. <laughs> yeah, let, let's make sure what this, this year will be better than previous and do some fun stuff. All right. Um, to you, Alexei, and well, I mean, Rodney is it's for his first meeting, uh, but Alexei, do you have any kind of feedback you'd like to bring to the group? Uh, hello. Uh, yes, yeah, so we are also looking forward for NRI interface. Uh, we are interested in CDRI also. So I'm here just uh, because um, we are interested in it. Okay, well, thank you so much, everyone. Um, I think that's pretty much it. We'll probably see each other in two weeks. Hopefully, maybe uh, we'll be able to make some progress from there. And have a great day. See you. Bye. 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 Thank you, Barry.